Hey y'all, I'm back once again for a second video of the day. Anyway, so I'm really fucking pissed, right? I was just, I was supposed to go out with this fucking virgin tonight, and this is what the fuck done happened, okay? So for days, he's been telling me, oh, it, it, I, it's so important for me for my girlfriend. He's considering me his girlfriend for some reason. Um, to watch movies with me. Oh my god, I really want to see the Batman movie. Mind you, this fucker already done saw the Batman movie like three days ago. He went out with his friends three days ago to see it. I didn't want to go see it with him that night. And I made like an excuse about how I was so tired from work, which I kind of was. But still, I don't give a fuck about Batman. Anyway, so basically tonight, he wanted me to like um go out to see Batman the Batman movie with him way over way across town way to a movie theater a dollar movie theater a cheap ass dollar movie theater an hour away from my house I'm like uh what's the point of doing, go, doing all that shit why can't we just see another movie he's like because I want to see the Batman movie it's so important for me for my girlfriend to see movies that I like it's so important to me I need uh, my girlfriend to see movies with me it's so important my ex-girlfriend she didn't do anything that, that I liked uh. After he got done whining like a little bitch, I asked him, like, dude, you just saw the fucking movie. Like, why do you want to see it with me? He's like, because I want to see it with you. It's important for me to see it with you, Olivia. Like, that's romanticness to me. Because since I can't have sex until marriage, this is rom romance to me. Why can't you do this for me? So I kind of told him, like, you know, I was in the middle of Father's Day shopping with my mommy. My mom went out for Father's Day shopping and it lasted longer than usual. And so I told him, like, you know what, we can't do the movie um maybe I can see Batman with you another time like I which I really don't give a fuck I probably will never see Batman with him at all so anyway why can't we just go out to dinner he's like oh so you just want to do everything your way like my ex who just wanted to use me for money why don't you come over to my mom's house and we order a pizza mind y'all he 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 has an apartment but he lives with three roommates he says and one of the roommates is a girl which is kind of suspect to me he you know he claims they're best friends and he wouldn't fuck her or anything because he's saving himself for marriage anyway so he's like well and he's house sitting for his mom because his mom's out of town his mom supposedly lives in a big ass mansion or something i I'm like, dude, I don't feel like just, um, you know, why can't we just go out? I want to go out. Mind y'all, this is the second date and I barely know this fucker and he's already acting super like childish and super petty and super like he's like in love with me kind of crazy like because he told me that he put that in, um, that he's in a relationship on Facebook. I haven't even added him on Facebook yet. He's told me, he said he's told all his friends about me. He told his family about me. He sent pictures of me to his family and his friends. Um, he told me he fell in love with me the first sight and and he just wants me to, to fall in love with him and fall in love with him as well. And why can't I be more romantic and lovey dovey and text him good morning and say I miss him and you know why don't I show any attention and affection and he just wants us to get serious and get married down the road. Like he's been acting really fucking weird, okay? He just been too far too too much too fucking soon. Like like I literally just went on my first day with him like last fucking week, dude. Like calm the fuck down. So basically, I was out shopping with my mom when he texted me saying, oh, I'll take you to my mom's house and we can just order pizza and we can cuddle. I really want you to cuddle with me, Olivia. Cuddling with me, show me shows me that you love me and you care about me. And that's what I want. That's all I want out of you is to cuddle. Please come over. So basically, my mom ended up seeing like the text messages he was sending me. She's like, you don't need to go over that dude's house. He's probably lying about being a virgin anyway. You, you don't go to strange people's houses. You don't even know him barely. It's a second date. Why is he asking you to come over and he's supposed to be a virgin? So my mom started saying that he was lying about being a virgin if he's getting this um falling in love so quickly he um, he probably is you know falling to pussy so quickly my mom's a firecracker like me she tells it like the fuck it is okay so she basically said that you ain't gonna know that dude's house you don't know what that dude has you don't know what that dude has in, in his mom's house you know it could be a setup you know he's probably not even a virgin he sounds crazy anyway don't deal with it just just tell him you want to go out on an actual day and see what the fuck he says so basically, <laughs> I just was like, you know, that, you know, I, I don't appreciate you wanting me to come over your hot, um, come over your mom's house just for some pizza and Netflix and chill. Like, you know, it's not like we're going to have sex anyway. All you want to do is cuddle. Like, you know, what's the point? Why can't we just go out on a date? You know, I want to go out. And literally, he's like, see, I see where this is going. You're, you're just like my ex, just wanting to use me for money. You're a gold digger. And yeah, and then I was like, well, I'm not a gold digger. I just want to actually go out. Well, why, are you acting, why are you acting like you just want to, you know, have a Netflix and chill session, right? 
And then he just like ignored me. <laughs> this is coming from the dude who claimed he fell in love with me the first sight. He's been texting me all these hearts and saying that he misses me all day and telling all of his friends about me. And he acts like he doesn't want to spend money on me unless I do what the fuck he says. Like he's literally was wanting to me to see Batman and he made a big fucking deal about me not wanting to see fucking Batman and Robin and shit. Like, and he just saw the movie his damn self. So what the fuck? He's 27 years old acting like a damn seven year old. Okay. Who the fuck trips over not wanting a, a, his girl or a girl he's dating not want to go see a damn Batman movie? Who the fuck cares? I even offered like, why can't we see another movie? Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is life? Like, why are you acting like a damn seven, a spoiled ass seven year old? Okay. Anyway, so he's basically being a complete fuck boy to me now because I just, I just didn't want to do that. I didn't want to just go over his mom's house and eat pizza. Like, who the fuck does that shit? Okay. Unless you're going to get some dick or get, get at least a tongue up your pussy. Y'all, he don't even believe in eating pussy. He says, he claims he's such a Christian and a virgin, right? But he's gotten a blowjob. He claims he's gotten a blowjob from, from his ex-girlfriends, but he wouldn't eat her pussy because he said that was disgusting and dirty. Like, he does not know where vagina has been and he would never touch a vagina as long as it's only if it's his wife's vagina like girl like what the fuck is that shit and he already told me like you know i i i promised my dad before he died my his, his dad passed away i promised my dad before he died that i would be a virgin till i'm married and i and i strive to be a virgin till i'm married because of him if i if i break that promise i'm going to hell i know i am i know i am so how come you can't just accept me for who i am you, you don't even want to do anything i want to do olivia that shows me what type of person you are so anyway, <laughs> after that little discussion, he's been ignoring me. I bet all I told him was, hey, let's just go out. And he's been ignoring me ever since because I didn't want to see stupid ass Batman with him. And I didn't want to go eat pizza at his, at his dirty ass mom's house. Okay. Oh, yeah. And also last night he was he was having killer migraines like his migraines were so bad. It made him like, you know, his stomach upset or whatever and queasy. And he was, you know, on the phone me saying, Oh, I think I need to go to the emergency room, babe. Oh my god, can you take me to the emergency room? Mind you, this dude lives about 45 minutes away from me and I had just gotten off work from a nine hour shift and I was working until like 11 o'clock last night dude you think I feel like driving all the way 45 minutes to a damn um to way over to where he lived to pick him up and take him to the hospital I'm like well can't you call the ambulance like that's what they're there for he's like no that's like extra $200 I'm trying to save money you don't care enough about me to drive me to the ambulance you don't care about me I'm like, dude, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but like I told you I had panic attacks while driving. I could barely drive myself at all. Like I literally had panic attacks while driving to the point that like I had to pull over and breathe cause I hyperventilate and you're wanting me to drive all the way 45 minutes to take you to the hospital. Are you fucking serious? He's like, well, if you, if you loved me and you cared about me, you would take this risk with me. Oh my God. La la la. And he kept going in on how I, I wasn't taking risks for him or I didn't care about him. I, I told him, God bless you. Have a good night this was last night and he was still mad at me <laughs> this morning and yeah so is this motherfucker crazy or what y'all okay let me know in the comments please <laughs> bye y'all